for watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Picked up a new helmet a few weeks ago. Bought a uh, Scorpion EXO R410 in the high vis. And I bought it primarily because of the they offered in high vis color. And uh, otherwise, I probably wouldn't have bought the R410. But I'll tell you guys, I'm really happy that I bought the R410 because this helmet, in my opinion, is actually better than the Scorpion EXO 500 helmet that I have. The only thing that makes the Scorpion EXO 500 helmet better is it has the drop-down shade. But you put a tinted shade on this R410 and you're good to go. And if you need it darker, you can always wear glasses uh, underneath the helmet. So, but yeah, this helmet is uh, feels light, feels good. This helmet actually fits better than the Scorpion EXO 500 helmet. I actually bought this helmet in a medium, which is my true size, because I have about a uh, about a 57 millimeter circumference head, and uh, normally I wear mediums, but. And the uh, Scorpions, like the EXO 500 and the Scorpion EXO 400, uh, the older Scorpion helmets, uh, they tended to run small. So I always had to go a size uh, one or two larger, and uh, which makes the helmet heavier too. And uh, but yeah, I was able to get this in a uh, a medium. And it actually, like I said, it fits better than the EXL 500 that I have. Even though the EXL 500 that I have, it, I started, the more I wore it, the better it fit. But it, the EXL 500 and the EXL 400 that I had, when you bought it new, man, your cheeks were just smashed, you know, smushed. And, uh, but the more you wear it, you know, the more it would wear in and it'd be more comfortable. Like I said, the both of those helmets were great, the EXO 5, 400 and 500 helmet. But this R410, they did design it a little differently as far as the uh, the shape of it. So, you know, this medium does not squish my cheeks, even though it's a smaller size. It fits just perfect for me. I wouldn't want it any smaller, and I wouldn't want it any larger. And, uh, and I must say that this helmet actually flows better air inside the helmet than the 500 and the, the 400. Uh, this you can actually feel a, a slight stream of breeze going over your head and your face. And right now it feels really, really comfortable on this hot day. And uh, I must say, I really, really do like this helmet so far. As far as the weight of it in a medium, it weighed in on the digital scale at uh, three, three pounds, eight ounces, compared to my EXO 500 helmet that runs about three pounds, 11 ounces. So it's about a difference, uh, three ounces lighter than the EXO 500, which is to be expected because this helmet doesn't have the built-in drop-down uh, tinted shade. Both helmets are, are fairly light. They don't feel heavy at all, but this does feel a touch lighter. And uh, like I said, it flows better air. Uh, as far as uh, viewing angle, viewing angle is uh, it's great. You know, top, bottom, peripheral vision is great. Uh, so was the XL500 and 400 too, but this, R this uh, R410 is just as good. I don't know if they made any changes in that area, but like I said, I didn't have a problem on the 500 or the uh, 400. And uh, one thing I like about this R410 as well is that it has the uh, the emergency cheek pad system is, is better than the EXO 500 helmet because uh, this one actually has pull tabs that says emergency on it on the cheek pad. So they so should you go down, God forbid, uh, the emergency personnel all they have to do is just pull those emergency tabs and it'll it'll uh, pull the stuffing out, uh, excuse me, the interior out, and uh, I, in my opinion, I actually feel that this R410 has a little bit better build quality than the EXL 500 and 400, and uh, one thing that I noticed also, it has the uh, perforated chin guard, as where the uh, EXL 400 did not have it, you had to buy it extra, the EXL 500 has one uh, that was built in, that's perforated as well. Uh, which I really like that feature. 
because it prevents a lot of, uh, especially on cold days, it prevents a lot of that cold air from going up underneath your helmet. And uh, it's great for motor vlogging too because you don't get a lot of wind noise in the mic. The vents are easy to access on top, a vent on each side. And, uh, and uh, like I said, in the high vis, you know, as you guys know, I'm a proponent for high vis gear because I do believe it helps you be seen a little better out here on the streets. Is it going to prevent accidents? Possibly, but you know, like, you know, if somebody's texting or something, they're not, they don't care if you have lights all on your head. It doesn't matter, you know, they're probably gonna plow on you because they're busy looking at their phone and not looking at the road. But I'll tell you these, this high this gear does grab the attention of car drivers. I notice it, you know, when I, don't wear high-vis gear, I can tell the difference of when I do wear high-vis gear, I, I get more looks, you know, and that's what you want, you want more looks, you want people to notice you, and like I said, if people don't see you and you look and their eyes are off somewhere and they're getting ready to pull out, you need to ride proactively and defensively and uh, make some noise, rev the throttle or bonk your horn, even wave your, your hand in the air to get their attention to help prevent them from uh, pulling out in front of you and setting you up for a fucked up day. See, he's got high vis too. He knows what time it is. <laughs> but, uh, so definitely thumbs up with this helmet. I really like it. As you guys know, I, I like Scorpion helmets. I've only had Scorpion helmets. I have tried on other helmets. I did a video on the um, Shoei uh, RF-1200 and also the Bell uh, RS1 helmet and I really those helmets were they're good helmets but uh, they weren't all that comfortable for me scorpion helmets are more comfortable for me and uh, in this medium like I said in this R410 fits awesome I can ride all day in this helmet and uh, just great airflow it doesn't make any noises like if I'm crouched down the XL500, sometimes if you are crouched down a little bit, it would make a whistling noise if you had the top vents open. Not nothing bad, but just a slight noise. But as far as this helmet, it makes no whistling noise whatsoever in any position. There's no wind drag, whether I turn my head this way or this way at high speeds. And uh, all I, you know, it, it's a great helmet. And uh, I definitely recommend it. I'll include a link to where you can get it in the info section of this video for a really good price. And, uh, but yeah, guys, that's all I have for you. But hey, for more reviews on other gear, on motorcycles, on products, on all kinds of stuff, just go to my website at cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu, My Videos and it'll have a sub listing of all of my playlists and that'll you'll be able to see more videos on different reviews and all kinds of other types of videos it could be beneficial to you that's all i have for you guys so until next time i'll catch you guys later deuces hey don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> Welcome to Psycho Cruises. Click the gold links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos or follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, Google+, Instagram, and Tumblr. And also don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, the links are in the info section of this video. Thanks and subscribe today. Hey guys, check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.